people in the state probably think like $300 just to adopt a dog. Is that expensive? Cause I don't know, I didn't pay for my other dogs. Well, we got Maya for like 60 or 50. Hey guys, so today I decided that we should do a very special video about how we got our firstborn. My, our first and only son that we're gonna have. No, not really. We'll see, we'll see. But anyway, yeah, this video is about how we adopted our baby, yo. Mr. Mr. Kipling? That was his slave name. Um, his real name is Leo Christopher Bacon Fam because he loves bacon and I like the name Christopher and Fam because his son needs to feel like he belongs in this equation somehow. But yeah, Leo, speaking of which. He answers to Kipling though. Cause that's what he was called for like five months of his early life. Anyway, he also answers the bacon and treat. So, I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, we're gonna tell you guys how we adopted Leo while we've been in Germany, which was more complicated than I was expecting it to be. Cause like back in the States, you can go to any like uh, rescue center or even go to someone's trailer which is that that's how we got my uh one dog bella we went to someone's trailer and bought her but anyway that's neither here nor there but yeah i was thinking like we were going to go to like an adoption clinic and then we were going to get him for like a hundred bucks maybe a little bit more and that was going to be it and not to say that's not an option here in germany but it wasn't an option for us um, I had heard before I even came to Germany while we were looking at dogs because we always said that we wanted a dog. I wanted a dog because I need emotional support while he's in the field and every place else two weeks at a time, a month at a time. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. So I was like, I need something and I don't want to have a baby. So like a notch down, I'll, I'll get a dog, which is practically a baby. I, I hold him like a baby. So yeah, um, what was the first thing that we did? How did, like I know that I did some research and I found out, or you found out, Some one of us found out that people around here or like different um, animal shelters around here don't let Americans take their dogs because something about they have a bad reputation with dogs, especially military families because they'll adopt a dog keep them until they're about to leave for a next duty station and then return the dog or leave them out or that's what you heard right yeah that's what i heard and it's on their website too those uh adoption places that they don't want um military people adopting mm -hmm. see so we already had that going against us and we're definitely not those people by understand that they have to put that in there because i have heard of americans in military family who keep their dog and then the moment that they realize they have to drop a couple hundred dollars to take their dog with them to like i'm out and they i don't know what they do with their dog i guess they return them back or whatever i don't know so yeah that was our first stumbling block because we we're like then how are we supposed to adopt a dog and then tell how you found that um one website I was just talking to my co-workers saying, did they get a dog from here? And some of them were like, yeah. And I was like, how'd you get it? And they just gave me the Facebook page name. Yeah, that's what I've noticed. They have a lot of Facebook pages for like spouses and for people who have kids. And then they have a page for like military families over here in Germany that want to adopt. And so the page name I didn't even realize it stood for something. I probably should have because I done spelled it wrong so many times. It's F-A-P-F Dogs Ramstein something 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 something. And so um, yeah, it's a website. They have a Facebook page. They also have a online website, but they're in the trend like transitioning stage of like adding English because I think originally it was all in German. So certain pages aren't in English. But anyway. I went to the Facebook page and like on the Facebook page, you can scroll down you can see so-and-so is this old, um, neutered, not neutered, uh, you know, male, female, all the like different, um, information about the dog. And then they give you a picture and that was practically the whole Facebook page. So originally 
we were going to adopt this one dog called Bogomel. Was that the dog's name? The, the black and brown one that yeah. looks like a Yorkie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Bogomel or something. Mm -hmm. And so we saw that dog and we're like, oh my god, we want it. It looked like, I think it was mixed with like a poodle or something because the hair was all curly and whatnot. Anyway, it was cute. And I was going to get it. And we were gonna get it, we messaged them, we didn't get any message back for a long time, and they were like, hey, you gotta fill out this packet. I swear to you, I had to fill out five pages of information before they would even consider me to adopt this dog. That is nothing like back in the States. Like, I understand why they do it, and if I feel like that's a smart thing, if you're like, you know, you really care about animals, you wanna make sure they go to the right family and whatnot, you don't just wanna be like, here's a dog, you know, you want here, here you go, you know, you gotta, Fill out this five page thing about like, if your dog pees on the, on the floor, how are you going to punish them? Are they going to be in their kennel for more than X number of hours? Uh, what do you do for a living? What's your lifestyle like? I totally forgot all about that. Yeah, cause I filled it out. <laughs> I was the one that filled it out. Anyway, I fill out that five page thing. I sent it in. I don't think we got like a thank you and didn't hear anything for like a week or two. And I was nervous because I was like, are we going to get this dog or what? Because we really wanted this dog. And then you checked up on them and then we found out that the dog had already been adopted. And there's like, but we have these other dogs and they send us like five other dogs that, I don't know. I wanted to get a dog from a shelter. I did not want to buy a dog. I wanted to get it from a shelter. So that was like number one for me. I think I found Leo. No, she sent me Leo. And she sent you Leo? Mm hmm Or Kipling. She sent me Kipling. And I was like, oh, that's a cute dog. And I sent it to you to, to confirm. And she liked it. And then we, we actually weren't even, her back. We weren't actually looking at Leo originally, though. Because in the post, it was his mom, who was like two or three years old. Um, his brother... Dang, Leo, that was one heavy sigh. No, um, his brother. You got him. He's not sleeping. Um, and him. And we weren't originally looking at him. We were looking at his mom or his brother. And they were like, um, he wasn't originally up for adoption though, right? Because he had to be in foster care for X number more months or something like that. Yeah, with his real mom. Shit. The mom isn't ready yet and the brother isn't ready yet, but the other one will be up for adoption in like a couple of weeks. I don't know why he was up for adoption sooner than his mom and his brother, but he was. And I did originally want a girl dog because that's all that I've had in the past were girl dogs. I had never had a boy dog. So having him now, like, I learned more and more about testicles than I ever wanted to know before. And actually getting him was like a, another thing, like, Explain like, cause you paid for it. Explain like what happened after we found him. After we found him, she sent us another paperwork, which we had to put all our information, name, address, etc., etc. And once that was good, we had to send it to the person who was working, f working or volunteering for the Hungarian people. So oh yeah, that that was something I forgot to mention was that this place is in Hungary. So yeah, all these dogs from what I understood are from Hungary. So continue, sorry. She had to do a home visit? With yes. Yes. Some one of their sponsors or something that lives in our area had to come to the place and like scout it out and like see how we were living. And at that time you were moving in and I was back in the States at school. So once the paperwork got approved, a couple of days later, I had a text saying when I'll be available to do this home inspection thing. And I was like, whenever. We came over with a date, she came over, and she, we just sat down, talked. She had to look around. She looked around her house, and we just talked, like, why I wanted to adopt. And I said, Kaylin always wanted to adopt a dog. I didn't care, no matter what. And then we just you know had to break a conversation and then she was like, all right, cool. And she left and... I, I had never heard of that, doing a home inspection before you adopt a dog. Even when you buy a dog, I don't even think they do it then. 
how much did Leo end up costing? Because how much was he without the trans transportation fee? Because we had to pay a transportation fee. How much was he just the dog? Like $300 to adopt. $300 to adopt, but then because he wasn't hungry, they had to bring him here, plus a bunch of other dogs. And the transportation fee was like... 50 euro? 50 euro. They gave me him, they gave me his passport, his medical paperwork, all the shots that he's had. And yeah, that was pretty much the gist of it. And ever since then, our family has been pretty complete. Mm -hmm. Leo is the apple of my eye. The love of my life even though i said i never wanted a boy dog because like i thought that was like i didn't know how to handle that but i i love leo he he has such a big personality and thank god whoever his foster mother was must have been a freaking saint because leo the first day i got him he was so chill relaxed for like six months old he was six months old when i got him i call him my old man because he made some of the like grumpiest sounds of, Every time you touch him, he sleeps in the bed with us. I yelp him so much. We don't know what he's mixed with though. He's a Jack Russell. Cause he's pure white. He The only spot that he hey. has is on his booty. And it's like a very faint spot. I, always, I thought it was like dirt for the longest time, but I couldn't wash it off. So I guess that's his spot. And yeah, we think he's mixed with like a Westie. What well, do you guys think? Do you mess with a Westie? Yeah, I see it. Let me see. The Yo! And for anyone wondering what I named him from, what I named him from? Charm. Charmed! Because that's my favorite show. I love yeah. Charm so much. Yeah. So I named him Charm, Christopher, wink wink, mm -mm -mm. Bacon, because that's what he loves, fam. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, just like because you're curious or if you plan on coming to Germany, I don't know if they adopt out like other than Germany. I have no clue. But yeah, if you have any questions, just let us know in the comments. I will put the Facebook page to the place in the description box. So Feel free to check it out if you want to. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. And we will see you all next time. Bye.